raising capital. In 2013, AMB significantly increased debt to purchase leasing properties and fuel its development and sales pipeline. What enabled AMB to do this without over leveraging was the issuance of 5.4 million shares and the acquisition of Grace. This financial maneuver allowed AMB to efficiently raise capital while undergoing solidified growth. The increase in liabilities and equity facilitated massive growth in total assets. This growth was complemented by a simultaneous shift in assets from the U.S. mainland to Hawaii through 1031 exchanges. Essentially, AMB underwent strategic growth concentrated in Hawaii and in 2014 began to harvest returns. With these returns, top line revenue shows a significant increase. It is projected to continue this trend as AMB capitalizes on its competitive position in Hawaii's strengthening economy. Uh, following the shift to harvest, Following shift to harvest, acquisitions dramatically declined in 2014, enabling AMB to make full use of its assets. This in turn yielded expanding margins due to refocus on operating efficiencies and synergies. Now with the top line growth and the expanding margins, total operating income as well shows a significant growth and continues to trickle into net income, which reflects the successful growth rate with an extremely high CAGR. Now with the earnings and the capital trend away from growth and acquisitions, cash flows from operations shows a, shows a significant increase as well. This in turn has led to increased cash reserves available for funding operations, as well as cash flows per share. With the reserves, AMB has begun to delever itself through increasing its repayment on debt. However, with low interest rates and expanding margins, AMB is able to better repay this debt through rapidly rising interest coverage rate. Thus, going forward, AMB has financial strength and flexibility. Currently, AMB is reinvesting into its most profitable segment of development sales in order to maintain its growth cycle. However, we believe that with the recurring cash flows, from Grace, we've seen that there will be an increase in dividend, that strong gear in development sales will give the potential for a share repurchase. We've identified various risk factors inherent to AMB and conducted several sensitivity analyses to determine the impact on our recommendation. The concentration of AMB's operations in Hawaii make them highly susceptible to fluctuations in Hawaii's economy. A 2% decrease in Hawaii's GDP growth rate will change our recommendation to a whole. However, the diversification of their business segments decreases exposure to economic risks. Increased volatility and market risk will adversely impact our valuation. To test this downside, we increase risk valuation variables that negatively affect our target price. It would take significant and simultaneous changes to our WAC, cap rate, and EV to EBITDA multiple for our recommendation, recommendation to change to a whole. To conclude, AMB's strategic position